New York Yankees fans, what is up? Yet again, it is Felix from M1News.com. Like always, hola como estas? Hashtag hola como estas? Hola como estas? Latino gang. Sports bringing that around on Twitter. And hey, let's not leave out my other subscribers. But hey, like I said, let's make that popular on Twitter. Hey, Yankees fans, like I've been saying, the Yankees, if they're going to be serious contenders, they need a player to step up. John Carlos Stanton is catching fire. But in my opinion, the Yankees need to add another bat. We can't gamble with Gary Sanchez coming back and having a subpar year. I hope he comes back and comes back and finishes strong. We, we all hope that. We hope Gary Sanchez has a strong finish. But, but we all know another bat is missing in this lineup. God forbid Andahor or John Carlos Stanton, let's say they don't have a great game. Who's going to step up? I know Judge is coming back, but he might be missing out on more time. It's always been like this. The Yankees just need to add another bat to put these other teams to sleep. They need another starting pitcher to put these teams to sleep. We all saw Severino. He started off kind of bad. Just imagine come playoff time versus a real ace, the Yankees, Facing off a bona fide ace for that one game playoff, and Severino just implodes. I'm not saying he is, but going into a series like that where you have another ace besides Severino, it's a good thing to have and it's intimidating. And I'm calling one game a series, but it just adds an intimidating factor to your team once it's just stacked. Just imagine facing the Yankees in the ALDS. Just intimidating. The Yankees can still be that team that other teams fear. They don't have that aura anymore. Maybe coming into the season, but they need to make those deals before the waiver wire. And I'm making this video specifically to ask you guys, what player do you think the Yankees should add before the waiver wire? What players do you think are going to be available? We are seeing the Nationals... I bring them up constantly because they're not going anywhere. They have two young teams ahead of them, the Braves and the Phillies, and the Braves just beat them back-to-back -back games, and they're going for a series win tomorrow, a four-game series. I keep bringing up the Nationals because they do have those players. If obtained and added to a contending team, can have a really big impact for a team gunning to win it all. And... Specifically, the waiver wire works like this. If a player that has a substantially large contract, one of these teams like the Dodgers, the Cubs, the Red Sox even, and even the Yankees can obtain an impact player one or two to add to their team. I'm not saying Max Scherzer is going to be a Yankee. I'm not saying he's going to be moved. But that's the kind of move that a contending team in the playoff race needs to make. And I'm sure any player that the Yankees are looking at, they're going to make sure that team pays the rest of the remaining contract for this season. I don't see the Yankees picking up any player if, let's say, $10 million is still owed to them this season. Who knows? Maybe it could be less. But I keep repeating this idea because I really like it. It's what the Yankees have been missing for over three years now. They just add one player, one impact player, forget it. They're World Series champions. And for years to come, maybe the next three years, they'll be favorites. Donaldson could be available. McCutcheon could be available. Harper could be available. All these players could be available. And in my opinion, if one of these players becomes available, if you are the New York Yankees, you go out and get them. You go out and get them. It's going to be hard because that's how the waiver wire functions. But Put your hand into the ring. The Yankees, like the Yankees said, Brian Cashman said, the Yankees are gunning for the World Series this year. World Series a bust. Prove everybody wrong. This team, sure, they just swept the White Sox. They're going to have an easy path. They have an easy schedule this month, and I suspect the Yankees to go on a nice win streak. They might win maybe seven in a row. Who knows? They might win eight in a row. They might win nine in a row. Who knows? The Yankees have an easy path to even catch the Red Sox. Any little mistake the Red Sox make, the Yankees are going to gain ground. Like I said, the Red Sox could easily implode. JD goes down, 
we already saw bets go down and they did well, but JD is the main guy. He goes down. That division is for the Yankees to take, and they need to go for the jugular. I keep repeating this. Get that impact player that the Yankees are missing, one or two. You need another ace. You need another bet. Yes, things look fine and dandy now, but we're talking about long term. Build your team to be the most feared team in baseball, and I guarantee the Yankees are going to win 28. Hey, Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinion in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about what players the Yankees should add, what positions to fill if you need another back, if you need another pitcher. Just leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this is Felix from nynews.com. And remember, hashtag Ola Como Estas. I will check you out next time.